Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we are on the Citadel server building in West Hill, which is in the medieval fantasy zone. And the sun is setting just outside of West Hill as we are approaching the pumpkin farm that we've been working on for the last few weeks. We're gonna pick up where we left off. And yes, more pumpkins today. Today we have to push, it's not gonna be the most exciting, but I've gotta put all of the, all of the green bits that you see here, we've gotta add all that to these these remaining pumpkin patches. It'll probably take a little while. It was very slow when I did it over here. Uh, it's not my first time doing it now, so it might go a little bit faster, but I still anticipate it taking quite a while. Wait for night, Blast Jordan, Sweet Sandy, good to see y'all. Crosshatch, welcome back. Hope you're having a good day. All right, let's just dive in here. I gotta get rid of some of the things in my inventory. We created some cool stuff at the end of the last stream. I think I'll just wait and not do any stuff on the ground. We'll do the actual uh, pumpkin stuff first. Brown terracotta. Do need those. Grab those as well. Hello from Rovanemi, Santa Claus's home, or at least the Finnish people <laughs> is right. That's good to know, Sandy. I did not realize that. I mean, it make, I guess it makes sense that Santa Claus would have. A different home in different countries. North America usually puts Santa Claus at the North Pole, which is in Canada. So you can argue back and forth as to whether Santa is Canadian or German. I'm going to need the hoe. I'm going to need some pumpkin seeds. Definitely going to need some pumpkins. We'll grab the little ones too. We are definitely going to need moss. Definitely gonna need moss carpet. I'll bring some ferns, vines. Oh, we need more vines. We might have to make a jungle tree. I might do that first. Do, I do have jungle saplings. We don't necessarily need Jungle. Do I need mangrove? Yes, I should do that instead. Remind me, does mangrove... Mangrove doesn't change the blocks underneath it, does it? I don't remember. Uh, not unless it's mud for mangrove. Okay, cool. It would change the mud into muddy mangrove roots, right? But if it's just this, I can just bone meal this and create something ginormous and really awkward to cut down. Yes, perfect. Okay. That is huge. Scaffolding and shears. Does that have silk touch on it? It does. So it looks like we're doing a little bit of collection. Can you use the hoe on vines? I don't actually know this. You cannot. Okay. The 
But because we don't have vine growth on the server, this is the fastest way to get vines. Hard to see. The jungle trees are easier because you can see. Oh, that was a mistake. You can see the vines a lot clearer. I guess I should start from down here. It's a lot easier to see the vines on a uh, on a jungle tree. I did not expect this to be this big. I enjoy the look of them as well, enhanced, um, but I, uh, I agree with you. I wish they were a lot easier to cut down to. Even when you don't have to grow them, like even when you just go to a swamp and cut them all down, I find it really tedious. And mental note, I think that this is a very poor choice. Now that I'm really thinking about it, for vines, I'm I'm definitely destroying vines by accident here without thinking. Destroy all the dangly bits first, I guess. We need some more roots, so it's not, not a bad idea. Definitely the first tree that has me interested in automatic farms. Can you even farm these automatically? Like, I'm, I wouldn't even know how. Because you're blowing up a lot of stuff with TNT, right? Yeah, you'd really have to go at this with just shears. To get all of the all of the vines. Oh, here's some good ones. Yeah, really not fun to cut down. <laughs> Who needs an auto clicker when I have a mug I can put on top of the mouse? Yeah, I've done that before. I have an auto clicker now, but I haven't used it in a while. I think it might actually be built into my mouse, maybe. Yeah, I think my lo I think my. Razor Mouse has got macros on the software. I feel like we've got at least a stack of vines here. Oh, 
And after all this, we're barely going to get any wood. Because there's so few wood blocks in these trees. Yeah, I'm only cutting down one of these. What we get is what we get. My inventory might actually fill up. What I probably will do is compost the rest of this though. And apparently there's vines like inside the tree. I keep on hearing them, but I'm not seeing them. I've never actually stripped all of the leaves off of a mangrove. I've always cut it down kind of like one link at a time. I'm curious what they would look like. They're probably not all that attractive. I feel like the leaves really make the tree. But it's certainly taken the better part of 10 minutes. Because the sun's going down again. Finally. So, not expensive, but time consuming. My inventory didn't clog up, so that's good. It'd be nice if you could turn roots into planks. Yeah. Yeah, that would be nice. What do they turn into? Sticks? Nope, nothing. That would be a decent recipe. We got four stacks. No, gosh, eight stacks of mangrove leaves. Almost eight stacks. We got probably a stack and a half of vines and then not even a half stack of wood. Plus a little bit extra moss carpet, but that's, we've got a farm for all that. And I feel like I have a mangrove box inside somewhere. So I'll top this up and then, oh no, it's here. Well, we've topped it up. That's fine. compost those later I guess don't need these anymore I think that's I think that's all I need Oh no, I need the roots. And that should be good. Have a quick look here to make sure I'm not forgetting anything. No, I think we're good. Okay. So the easiest thing to do is probably going to be to start with this next patch here because we, we did this the other day and I may replace this one. I feel like I want to put some different sizes here. Either way, I'm definitely putting in these rooted parts underneath here.
just because sometimes it helps when we start doing decorations and stuff. Um, it's easier than doing it one at a time later. So that's going to stay a path. I feel like this pumpkin can probably grow from there. Actually, maybe we'll do it from here. But then we've got to block it. To make sure it only grows in the one direction. So I'll want that pumpkin to go there. So now that's the only place it can go. Just dropping in, says Cosmic. Weaving at yourself from the future VOD. Cute. Thank you. No sound. Feel free to trash talk flowers. This is just going to be one of those slow, methodic afternoons, I think. like this could maybe be a vine not a vine burn I like that. We'll have to wait for that to grow before you finish anything else. Although that's pretty good there. And then we're under these three. So hopefully this won't take too long. feel like this would be a good spot to put maybe a little pumpkin. Yeah. And this might be better off as coarse dirt. Maybe I will go get a couple of dirt textures. Actually, that could be maybe a, a stone or something. Mm 
Dan Grace, good to see you. Welcome in. Matt B, good to see you as well. We could actually make this more... I don't know. I'm thinking it might be better to do... different texture. Nope, it feels weird. All right, I like that. That's going to be a pumpkin there. Oh, that's a little bit narrow, isn't it? Maybe this is going to have to be dirt. See, this is just a rough, rough idea. So we're kind of making it feel a little bit more more interesting. Uh, I think we'll put this here. Should have grabbed some mangrove wood too. Oh, that reminds me. I wanted to put. I think I wanted to put like a bush here somewhere. Not mangrove leaves, but I think we'll use um, oak or maybe even azalea. I was thinking about it just before I started the stream. I was taking screenshots. I was like, you know, I could use a little something. Roe Butler, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Just want to sleep and get back to work. Where did I put that? It was right here, wasn't it? That. Maybe one more to the left, but that might be too close. Yeah. That looks pretty good. I think I want to have anything sunken in there, but we'll see. Might be fun to put one out there. Let's try it. I always bring like the right number of blocks and forgetting that I might want to try something else. Expand on a thought. Bring two bushes and you know you're going to need three.
Yeah, I think that works. I might even put it here too. Yeah, why not? I was worried looking at screenshots that I've used a little bit too many textures. I don't know. There definitely needs to be a little bit more coarse dirt in here too. Helps connect it to the road, I think. Uh, Gats B. Nope. I stream Thursday through Sunday. This is the last stream. Because then I've got three days. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, where I currently don't don't stream. That's too close. Let's try something else there. Yeah, I think it looks pretty good. I feel like this could be green. I don't think I want to have another fence there. Having one there and one there should be good enough. Now some vines, I think along here will be helpful. Oh, maybe not there. I'll have to wait until that pumpkin grows before I make a final call on that one. I think maybe. That looks pretty good. Yep. Gatsby TV, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. All right, did we miss anything? Didn't bring sea pickles. Full inventory, that did not take long.
Yeah, one of these I think we're gonna make smaller. It might actually be, this one might be worth doing. And I think that's it for sea pickles on this row. We'll put more over here. So I just, I can't finish that until the other pumpkin grows, but other than that, I think we're good. It's a small row. All right, let's start back this way again. And I do realize that these are mostly being covered up, but every once in a while they get exposed and I just want it to be consistent because I haven't yet decided which ones are actually going to be visible, which ones are not. And if we do any farming um, next to them, then that becomes visible, that edge. I know it's a very picky thing, but I think picky is the name of the game for me. You're all shocked, I'm sure. Okay, so this has absolutely no greenery whatsoever. Uh, I would like to have perhaps a big patch of green back here. Uh, maybe you have to go higher on this one. I may have to get rid of that, that sign. Yeah, that's not too bad because then we can maybe have this come over the wall. I don't know, that's a little tall. Yeah, I think I might have to take that back down. Could still maybe come over the wall, but maybe we'll push it. Well, we'll see. I'm sort of thinking of, about the wall at the same time here. I'm trying to think about what other blocks we could use to push things over the edge. It's hard where we've got slabs here. Maybe we'll do it here. Mostly like that, but I'm not a big fan of this. Um, guess I could move this. How did I do that over here?
Oh, it was a much smaller wall. That's how I did it. Okay. Also, this seems to be better as Azalea. Oh no, I used some some stuff there. And we can't put anything there because of the vine. That's fine. I'm not going to get carried away there. I just wanted to make sure that I know what I'm doing. So let's go back up here and I guess we'll bring in more green. I feel like this would be a good spot for the pumpkin to grow from. So that's got nowhere to go but there, so that'll be fine. And again, I think I could probably sneak in a mini block there. Although, no, that'd be two in a row. Maybe I'll put one here. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder if this would look good with mud there. Yeah. Like the dark corner sort of vibe. And here.
This should probably be vines. Pumpkin there. It's hard sometimes when this stuff hasn't grown. You kind of have to think about what this might look like in the future. Yeah, we really need some sort of separate tool. Inventory tool belt something. I've been feeling very pinched this whole stream. It's a, it's funny how much of your mind share goes to like where your tools are. Why? I don't know why that's there. So let's change that a bit. I feel like we could have an extra pumpkin in here. I guess part of this depends on what happens with this wall, too. Maybe I should start working on both at the same time. Mind Trip Media with 100 bits. Thank you so much. M, good to see you. Hope you're having a good weekend. Or had a good weekend, I guess, depending on where you are. It could be over already. My weekend flew by. I'm trying, I was trying out a couple of video games on Xbox. I tried... Lords of the Fallen, did not like it. Not a fan. Uh, and then I was playing Remnant 2 this morning. And it's okay. Like, it's the, the world is really unique. But there's a lot of inconsistencies. Like, <laughs> you go into this ancient world after being teleported via giant world crystal. And you're fighting, like, pans and these two double sword wielding crazy dudes but i've got a sniper rifle like it, it feels very strange and then you walk into what i guess looks like some sort of like ancient tome library sort of like indiana jones type stuff but then as you read the books that are left around which are like lore and world building and stuff like that they're all typed <laughs> like it's it's text that's been typed on a on a computer it's not handwritten, but it's this dusty old tome. Like it just, it makes no sense. It's, it seems very, uh, quick.
Don't know where their block to put there. I guess mangrove? Nope. Not sure if it's harder to move a short bit or half a country. Lots of work and stress either way. M, your weekend was stressful. We moved a mile down the road. <laughs> then I bopped my car tire, so likely need a new tire. Oh, that sucks. Sorry to hear that. When it rains, it pours. Headed to the beach on Friday, so it'll be all up from there. Well, that's good. I need something else right here. Maybe that's where we can put the mangrove. Gotta remember that there's gonna be a pumpkin here. Yeah. What I'm trying to do a lot of times with these um, vines is like if you've got two pumpkins that are like that in your vision and they, the orange kind of overlaps, it's nice to put a bit of green in there because then it separates them. You see like that's separated and this is separated now. Allows your eye to see the depth where there's no shadow because there's no shaders on currently. And I don't remember, I guess the plan was to do that, to go there. So I'll have to put these down. I guess back here we could always put down like little pumpkins. Here I think is where I want to put another fern though. Not in the best spot. That's right. All right, I think that's this row mostly done. Maybe use a little, a little more green. And then maybe some sea pickles. Probably over here. 
I find the sea pickles really help with these tall ferns. It helps make this feel not so tall by putting something in between them. It's a bit of a stretch of the imagination, but I find that when you put them close to the ferns, it helps smooth that out. Yeah, I like to see pickles too, Sandy. Okay. Well, that's the path there done. I want to add something else in here. This, this one should be easy, I would think. Feels like you can grab a pumpkin and walk away. No stealing pumpkins. If anybody in Sweden is missing pumpkins, we know who to blame. Get one to one for those? Weird. Oh, I wasn't doing any of the roots. That's what I wanted to do. Places that I was looking for something that needed to be a little bit darker. A little bit of a stretch. It might be better to put it back here. It does go nicely in that section too. feels super dark. If there were watermelons, feel would be empty. Yeah. <laughs> Are you a watermelon fan? I like watermelon, but I don't like watermelon flavored things. Same thing with bananas. I like bananas, but I don't necessarily like banana flavored stuff. Well, I mean, I like banana muffins and banana bread and stuff, but but I, I don't like the artificial. Like ba banana ice cream or banana candy stuff? No. I also am not a big fan of putting banana in my smoothies. I find that just takes, it makes everything taste like banana. It doesn't matter what else you put in the smoothie. Congratulations, you now have a banana smoothie. This, I think, is going to be a very small patch.
there's a little bit of orange in this and there's a little bit of green in that and it goes really well with that combo I find. Hmm, this is a place where we might want to put a sunken azalea bush. V McFly, welcome in. Thanks for saying hello. And Sandy, thank you for the reminder about my first break. Hmm. Maybe this just doesn't have to be there at all. It does make this feel really open. Maybe we could put something else here. Like maybe we could put something useful here. Like a a composter. I'll put this here for now. Try to make it look like it's a place where someone might stand and work. Maybe it's not a compost, or maybe we make it look like some sort of crafting or chopping table or something. I could use some trap doors and signs, maybe. I'll worry about that when I get back. So for anybody that's new, I take a break about once an hour. It gives me a chance to reheat the coffee, grab a glass of water, stretch, all that kind of stuff. You should too. Grab yourself some snacks or a friend. Uh, we are always trying to grow the channel. If you would like to uh, help me continue that quest, then uh, tell a friend that we're streaming. Bring them on in. Pretty chill. Hope you're having a good time. I will be back in five or six minutes.
starting to feel pretty populated out here with these two farms next to, next to each other. This feels very grassy. I've sort of covered up any of the paths. Maybe I have to reduce that a little bit. Looks pretty good. Oh, look, it grew. So I think I have to flip this around maybe. Yeah, it looks a little bit better. The other one grow? No. Didn't realize how close those stems were to one another. Maybe I'll put this over here. Yeah. Thank you, Sandy. Oh, what do I want to get rid of? There we go. My thought process was to put something like this here. Make it look like some sort of workstation. And maybe we could put something on it. Maybe a small pumpkin, or maybe we can stick an axe on it or something. I don't remember how to do the invisible item frame thing. We put some pumpkin seeds on the ground. I like it though. I think it looks good. Don't think I want a little pumpkin there. Maybe we'll just go with that. Although, a little bit short there too. Do we want this here? I think I prefer that. X killer DX, hello. Good. Pretty simple, but it's not a very big row. And then for the sea pickle, maybe we'll throw that here. Such a loud noise. Isn't it trigger invis or something like that? Uh, I don't have the data pack. I'm not sure. Oh, I'm going to have to empty my inventory, aren't I? Yeah, I do want more pumpkin. 
many blocks. I'm sure Cosmic would like some cherry leaves. And he's got small drip leaf too. Yep. We're gonna... You know what? I'm gonna go get an extra shulker box. I have overstayed my welcome at this little construction zone. I probably should have taken a closer look as to what he had, but that's fine. We'll make a list. I could use a break from some pumpkins anyway. Uh, shulker boxes. Like I'm carrying a full shulker box worth of inventory <laughs> for building. Wild. You're just going to be up in my grill all day long, aren't you? Okay. Packed ice, gold, cherry, Oxidized cut copper. And... Pumpkin. Lapis. I guess I'll get some iron and cherry leaves. Iron. This is so annoying. Like I'm even trying to trade with him and he's walking all over the place. Don't care about TNT. I have a lot of those already. I have a lot of sea lanterns. Oh, and drip leaf. And that's it. Small drip leaf. The real question is, do I have enough emeralds? No, I don't. I don't remember. We traded, was it rotten flesh or leather? I think. We have to do another quick trip to the village. What else do leather workers trade? Do we remember? I'm going to look that up super fast before I fly all the way out there. They trade Smith, Worker, Flint, and Rabbit Hide. I don't know if I have any of those. You would think I would have a ton of Flint kicking around. Got two in there. I think all my flint is back in Dartmouth Meadows. I don't think there was any other villagers out there, but we'll see. I don't know what happened to all the other villagers. I guess they've just been slowly killed over time by zombies. We did a lot of mining near and underneath the village, so probably while we were down in the deep slate layers. 
They got attacked. Ransacked. I didn't check to see if there's anybody up there last time. I think the leather worker is down here somewhere. Yeah, there he is there. Don't run away. Please and thank you. His, I guess he hasn't reset since the last time. That's odd. Are all the beds broken? Where are you going, buddy? Still can't trade. Well, that's annoying. Anybody up here? Does not look like it. Nope. Take it easy, Blast Jordan. Thanks for stopping by as always. He's supposed to go to a cauldron. I'm not sure why he's walking all over the place up there. How did you even get up there? Wow. No wonder I didn't see him the first couple times. All right, where's the next village? Northwest. Northeast. Hopefully we'll find another one. I haven't loaded these chunks in a long time. There's some fun landscape through here. You do some really cool fantasy builds. There's like this arch thing that's really neat. Obviously, it's a little wonky. You'd want to make it your own, but some fun things could happen there. Yeah, this whole zone is like a mountainous area there. Quite like it. There's a place farther up the coast up here that's like really evil looking. There's more villagers here. That's a good sign. Is anybody a leather worker? Emeralds for those. Nitwits. We're just without a profession. I should have grabbed one of those um, cauldrons and brought it with me. Is there a cauldron around here somewhere I can steal? You... String, I could do string. I did not bring my string with me though. Coal, wow, could we ever get a lot of emeralds from this guy? Well, we'll start with that.
That's going to take all my coal. And fish. I probably have fish back at the... Oh, I've got coal ore right there. But I don't have, I don't have my... I don't have my pickaxe with me to destroy it. Crap. That's 14 plus the six I have. So that's 20. I think that's plenty. I think I'll keep looking in case I can find a um, leather worker. Because then we would come away with a lot more. Armor. Didn't bring any potatoes with me. Well, there's potatoes here, potentially. 26. There's not going to be 26 potatoes there. Clay. Nope. It's been so long since I did an early game Minecraft playthrough. I'm sure that villages like this would be so much more useful early game than they are for your late game. If it wasn't for this wandering trader, I don't know that I'd be really trading much with villagers at all. What's this? Nope, you don't have a profession, so this can't be anything too fancy. Yeah, there's no cauldrons that I can see. What's this? Mason. Yep, we know we've got some villagers here now. Masons and fishermen. Oh, there's this village too. A lot closer. Some weird chunk loading on the server lately. I'm not sure what's going on. It's hard because I don't know whether it's the mods. There's West Hill. So this is gonna be over this way. I think this place is empty. This has been loaded a long time. Oh, there's a really good chance there's nobody here. Oh, I heard somebody. Such a bizarre way for this place to be rolled out. You can hear the drowned. You know that this place has been attacked at least once. You think there'd be a golem somewhere? Well, we've got a cauldron. Sorry, I think I have enough. Wandering trader's probably gone. Nope, he's still there. All right, we need packed ice, gold, cherry planks, gold block, cherry leaves. I don't have any cherry planks out here. Or do I? Nope. Pumpkins. Oxidized cut copper. Lapis ore, iron block.
Melon drip leaves. So packed ice. Packed ice, gold, got a cherry planks, don't have those yet. Pumpkin, lapis or iron block, cherry leaves, and small drip leaf. I've got just about everything. We'll get the planks after I trade with them at least once, just to make sure we get them. It's the one time you want him to stand next to you and he doesn't. Stop stomping on all my stuff. Those are for Cosmic. That. It's like a happy Muppet. Oh, is that not the right thing? Oh, it's not cut. That's fine. And then I also just want Drip Leaf. That should be good. So I've got cherry planks right there. I have to switch this out for cut copper, but I didn't put that back. Yeah, still no melons either. You're right, Sandy. Also, I want... I need to replenish my coal. And I don't need this. No melons, but I'm happy to have the small drip leaf. And I'll get the right kind of copper this time. Oh, I did that. I done that before. Wasting emeralds. I do like a shift click, and for whatever reason, it it buys two things instead of just the one thing that you wanted. Annoying. Of course, now I've got several heads that I don't need. Although I guess I can put some of this back, can I? If not. Looked to see whether these look like pumpkins. They probably don't. No, not really. How about these? Probably not again. I mean, it sort of looks like a rotten pumpkin. We might be able to put that actually over here by the compost. Hmm. Doesn't really go. Actually, you know, it's not bad. It's not bad. Does it look better there? Or over here, maybe? Nope. Better on the ground. Maybe it can go on the ground here next to stuff.
no makes i think context is key and i think it makes sense there yeah Hopefully he is walking away never to come back again. All right, let's clean some of this up. Drip leaf can go in here. That's a good restock. And grab my pickaxe. And I might as well heal the stuff while I'm at it. Let's put the stuff that needs it the most. Actually, I'll do these first. Oh yeah, I saw there was a couple of copper to choose from. It's all good. Okay. So that will get our blocks back up and stocked. Still a few emeralds left over. Lots of these silly blocks to put back. This is just spare. Okay. Well, it was worth the time, but it definitely means we're not finishing the pumpkin farm today, which is too bad. Sorry, I, I don't think it would have been finished today anyway. Oh, this is not where I wanted to be. Wrong direction. I was thinking storage, but I was thinking the wrong storage. These are all player heads. Cool. So I'll have to let Cosmic know that I've got some cherry leaves there, should they want them. Oh, maybe keep the pumpkins? Smart. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I'm glad I caught that, Sandy. Much appreciated. I'm on autopilot today. Should maybe keep those as well. Scenic route. Cool. Now we've got lots of room out here too.
put some of this back though. Definitely don't want to leave these out here in case a creeper comes along. That would be not cool. do not remember exactly what I was doing when I was heading over there, I think. Oh right, we were looking at this, weren't we? I was going to do an item frame. And maybe that's what we'll do. We'll finish this off. Do the detail here while I get the chance. think an item frame will work. And I think I have that data pack. I don't really remember. Sandy, I think you typed the command in in chat. Do you remember what it is? It's like slash init or something. Slash trigger if in biz. Okay. If not, I can use an armor stand. It will be tedious. I also have to remember to bring the item frame. Can I put an item frame there? I hope I can. Yes. I guess maybe I don't have it enabled. Maybe I don't have that data pack installed. I guess. Do I want to do an axe? Why is this thinking that it's a debug stick? I can't get into my shulker boxes. I am not familiar with that. Yeah, I don't hold the stick, but like, how do I get out of this? Can I just turn, turn that off? There's just a stick. What did I do to get into this? It's a stick for Light Matica. But 
It's just a stick. There's nothing different about it. Is it because I use the trigger command? Do I want to do that or do I want to do stone? It's cobblestone. Yeah, we'll go stone. Did you press M and R by mistake? Nope. M is just my map key. The mod changes the working of a stick. Okay. So the question is, do I want to put, I still want the seeds there. So unfortunately, we'll have to use the armor stand. I've used um, stuff like this before. Like the flat on the surface stuff. But it never seems to work quite right. So that's pretty good. And I don't know whether I want to put the axe like up on the table or whether I want to lean up against it. I guess it would be kind of cool to have it up top. Keep on hearing stuff. That's pretty good. I don't like it when you're far away and it just doesn't listen to you. It's really annoying.
I don't know if I want it to be up like that. Yeah. Sure. Now, I guess the thing here would be if I could also put in another pumpkin somewhere. I think that's pretty good. Small detail. One of those things that not very many people are going to know about, just the folks that are here live. Maybe people watching later on, but... And it should be something that we can see from over here. So it's kind of like an invitation to come and walk this way and see what kind of detail I've added. I like little Easter eggs like this. Cool. Grab the last of this stuff. Oh, that might not work there. Yeah, it's been raining a lot in the game today. I don't know why. It's rainy here in the world, too, in Dartmouth. It's kind of a dreary day. Which is fine. I, I mean, like, twist my arm to play Minecraft for an afternoon as a, as a job, but it, it feels a lot less weird when... It's, um, when it's not nice outside, I don't mind it nearly as much. Something else needs to happen here. I'm going to reorganize these textures somehow. Maybe this... What if I made this mangrove? And then I could tuck this over here. I think that works. Yeah, I think that's working. And then maybe we'll add in a little bit of carpet here. Agro Ninja, the Shadow Clan has arrived. Holy nuggets. That's a lot of ninjas. 
come in with a party of 81. Thanks so much. Very much appreciated. Agro Ninja, what were you doing on stream today? What were you up to? Welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. Thanks for the shout out for Agro Ninja, Sweet Sandy. Much appreciated. For anybody coming in with that raid, if you're new to my stream, my name is Joel Duggan and I stream and podcast full time. I do the Spawn Chunks podcast every Monday with Pixel Riffs. You can find that on YouTube or your favorite podcaster. And I also do the Citadel Cafe podcast and you can find that again on YouTube. Uh, that one's only audio. Uh, we do have a video component for the Spawn Chunks now, which is great. Uh, but the Citadel Cafe is all about sci-fi and fantasy entertainment. So if you're into that kind of stuff, then do check that out as well. And of course, I'm here on Twitch. Thanks for those links, Sandy. Much appreciated. Oops. Now that we have some of this stuff ready, I might be able to finish up by doing a little bit of work on the wall. How goes the Citadel build? Uh, what are we working on today? I will show you in just a second. We are working on this pumpkin farm. We had a detour. A wandering trader came by and we've got the wandering data pack. Um, so we got mini blocks and that took a lot longer than I anticipated. But we'll take a walk through the uh, the pumpkin farm and I'll show you. So for the folks coming in with Agro Ninja, if you're unaware, this is West Hill. It's a three and a half year old medieval town build. It is quite large. And we're standing out here in the main north crossroads. And I've been working on these farms that are nearby. So we've got a, a lilac and pitch plant farm there. You can see that all the pink on the, on the map. The um, pitcher plants actually show up as brown for some reason. And this is the pumpkin farm that we've been working on. So to the left and now the right, we have completed custom pumpkin patches where we've got some stuff growing out of the ground and we've got some stuff uh, just custom placed with mangrove leaves, moss carpet, and vines. And of course, some two high ferns and um, some one tall ferns and grass and stuff mixed in. And so what we were working on today was all of this side, this right side. And we, we got as far as that ax over there. I do have a couple of data packs. It is uh, vanilla plus, I guess, as far as gameplay. I try not to add any new blocks, but... We do have the armor stand data packs. They are quite handy for putting in details like the little mini block details and some of the armor stand details that you can get for wagons like this. I don't overuse it, but it's a really fun detail thing to put in, I find. Um, and thank you, Sweet Sandy's got a link to the mods and the data packs that we use on the server. Most of the mods are actually performance related uh, just because not everybody on the server has the best PC. And so it makes it a lot easier for everybody to hang out and uh, and play without too much issue. But I think I'm quite happy with the way that this looks. You can see we've got textures on the ground. A couple of pumpkins haven't grown yet. Uh, so waiting on those. And then I just added this before the raid arrived, which is a couple of armor stands, one holding pumpkin seeds and the other one holding an ax. And I just thought maybe this could be like a place where they might chop up a pumpkin or chop the stems off a pumpkin. You can see the rough layout here where this is where I've put the pumpkins down by hand. And then we go back through and add all the details here. Has this grown yet? Oh, it has. Good. I can get rid of all this then. Carefully. Now, I feel like we can probably fill that in a bit. I'd say we're going to add a bush in there be my guess.
yeah so that adds with i think some detail uh, i i do want to change the texture on those they're a little bit yellow for me i think i might want to change them back to something a little bit more green maybe we'll try to match the vines or something go back to default first and see what it looks like a lot of times i end up just taking the texture into a, a photoshop type program and i don't really retexture it i'll just change the tint like i'll change the hue a little bit just to kind of see if it works better but yeah so we've only got one more pumpkin and that's going to grow right there and then this will all be done so that's what we worked on today uh over the weekend we worked on this area here which was kind of like nothing but now we've got these wagon trails that come in through here so it's like where the wagon gets pulled in and out uh, and of course we added all the details to the wagon we had done it last week but then it was just a rough idea uh, i like the vines and the pumpkins too uh aggro yeah it really worked out well the other thing was somebody suggested in chat the other day we, we use um sea pickles on top of some of the pumpkins and i overdid it at first but i think now that i've got a better handle on how i want to do it i think it really helps uh, we were saying earlier that it's quite handy when you put them next to the double high ferns it helps kind of balance this out the two high ferns can feel a little tall on their own but when you put them next to sea pickles it tends to be a little bit more interesting uh, but yeah i really like the way that this has turned out on this side too uh, and then the other thing that we've done over the week has been the compost pile i finally threw again another suggestion in chat sonic yesterday suggested we do a compost pile in this area so we've got some compost kind of containers this might be like where it would actually really break down and then maybe this is where they store it so then they could use it in their gardens and stuff along the way and i thought it would be kind of fun to have this is a raw copper mini block but it looks kind of like a moldy rotten pumpkin right so we just kind of figured that out today so that's that's fun uh, and the mud and the mangrove roots really work well as like a compost pile and we also have actual composters over here for like bird feed for whatever would be in there probably ducks but we don't have ducks in minecraft yet one can only hope anyway uh unfortunately aggro you guys came in right at the end of my day um i will uh, i'll walk around and talk while we uh exit so that everybody that's coming in will get a good look at at the town i'll take a walk through the town um but uh, we are going to pass you along uh sandy can we get a, a toss of names in chat as to who's live uh i'm not sure if um short zelda 22 is still going not sure who's around something i recently learned is using full composters and paths yeah totally um i normally have a texture pack that gives me pebbles in my course dirt but i have not uh been able to update that i've just been waiting until we get to um till we get to one 121 that's a really pretty shot i'm going to take a screenshot Soup for Lois, Tadpole Milk, Fall Cemetery. Cool. What is Soup for Lois up to? Oh, looks like they may be... They may be over. That's right. We'll... Um, Short Zelda is raising money for charity. So that'll be fun. Waterlogged chickens should turn into ducks. That's pretty funny. Yeah, I think we'll send everybody on to short Zelda. That's probably a decent... Is Tadpole Milk switching to... Oh, he's on Minecraft. Yeah, we'll do... Let's do... Um, let's do Tadpole Milk. He usually streams a lot longer. Short Zelda is usually ending right after I raid them, so that'll be cool. Anyway, for folks coming in with the aggro raid, thanks ever so much. Uh, as I mentioned, I do the Spawn Chunks with Pixel Riffs and the Citadel Cafe podcast with myself and some friends. Uh, I've been doing this build for three and a half years. Everything here you see block for block is on YouTube. Joel Duggan VODs on YouTube, including Roof Pig. And uh, you can watch the entire thing uh, being built over the last few years if you've got that kind of time. Uh, or if you want to look at a very specific build, I usually like label them like four or five videos called like Candle Shop Part 1, 2, and 3. Uh, and all of these have finished interiors and stuff. So... 
it's a it's a good deal of content to look at if that's what you're looking for uh you can also check out things like my instagram as well as twitter i'm joel duggan i post there when i go live here on twitch uh you can uh, of course check out things like patreon which is how i support myself here uh, you um can join the patreon join the discord you can also uh, check out things like twitch subs and prime subs you get access to the exact same discord and it's a small group it's a pretty um pretty small group of i'd say about 100 150 people like-minded nerds i'm sure that you would have a good time there uh but once again uh thanks again for coming in with the aggro raid if you've followed hopefully i will catch you next time but we will pass you all along to tadpole milk one of the best labs on twitch i really enjoy him i think you will too i will be back on thursday is my next stream i do thursday through sunday here on twitch so i will see y'all then bye for now